Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So, and in today's video, I'll be talking to you about how you can use your cell phone as a professional video monitor. I recently came across this app on the Apple App Store called Monitor Plus. And a really cool thing about this one is that it works on Sony cameras. What this app does is that it turns your smartphone into a full-fledged monitor and depending on the size of your iphone is a pretty decent size for an external monitor but the best thing is that you do not need cables you do not need to plug it into your camera because it works wirelessly and you also do not have to get a wireless video transmitter which can add a little bit to the setup and to the weight this monitor plus app is available on the app store it is also available on the google play stores so if you have an android phone this is going to work just fine as well there's a free version which gives you a live view and allows you to control basic camera controls if you pay for the upgrade then this becomes a truly full-fledged video monitor with all the pro features that come in monitors the drawback is that this is made specifically for sony cameras and at the moment not all sony cameras are supported so the only ones that are supported right now according to the app at the time of the making of this video is the Sony a7R4, the A9 Mark II, A7C, A7S3, A1, FX3, CV1, CVE10, and the A7 IV. Right now I'm shooting on the Sony A7 IV and I'll show you what this looks like when I'm connected. But unfortunately this does not work with the A7 III which is a bummer but hopefully in a future upgrade they are able to create that connection. By the way, I purchased this app by myself. I found it, heard about it, thought it was cool and wanted to try it out. So Monitor Plus is not paying me or anything at all to talk about their app. I pay for this app completely out of my own pocket. As soon as you download the free version, you can make sure that your wireless functions on your Sony cameras are turned on so that the app can recognize it. See my A7 Mark IV, A7 IV, press pair and just let the app pair with your smartphone. Press join and now just enter. And now you see it right here. I'm recording the screen on my, on my iPhone here. This is what it looks like if you have the free version, you can access the shutter speed, your aperture or iris, your ISO, white balance, change your autofocus, and you can start and stop your recording and even tells you how much more memory you have left on your SD card, which is really neat. You can also change your autofocus areas. You can even access other things such as touch function, still image save destination, live view image quality, you can adjust your picture profile here as well. A lot of settings that you normally cannot adjust on your Sony camera with an external monitor, you can do it with this app. There are other settings right here that come with more professional video monitors like zebras, false colors, and all of that. That is accessed in the pro version, so you have to pay for that. And another cool thing too is that it shows me the little red recording square when my video is recording, which is really cool too. All right, so with the pro version, you even get the autofocus tracker on the monitor, which is really cool. And all of these things are now enabled. So you get your zebras, you get your false colors, you get grids, RGB waveforms. You also get custom LUTs. This is an orange and teal that's already in here embedded in the in the app that you can turn on and off if you wanted to add some color to your lock footage which is really neat and full controls here you even get a vector scope rgb parades and all of that you get to stretch your image if you're shooting anamorphic you get to focus pull this is really really cool i've never seen a monitor that does that so let's switch this to manual focus and now you get this focus pooler option so let's go all the way from like zero right there and pull it right here. So there is a little bit of delay as you do some focus pulling, but it's a pretty cool function nonetheless. You can mirror your image as well and you can turn it up and here you can access all of these settings. There is an option to use a chroma key as well so if you have a green screen and if you wanted to key something in the background you can do it right on the app you can also change the media name histogram style 
out of focus area and you can even save something to your camera roll save a copy of whatever you're recording to your camera roll i wouldn't do that though because the files are massive one thing that i noticed i was trying to switch this to photo mode but you can do that and i know why because on a7 IV there is a photo and video dial so the app can't physically turn the dial on your camera. So unfortunately, if you wanna quickly switch between photo and video mode, you have to physically go and turn that dial. But for all that this app has to offer, I think it's still really good. And another thing that I did just now was in the settings, in tap to function, uh, I can just keep it at, at AF area or I can just switch it to the camera touch. And my camera touch right now is set to tracking. So what happens now is that if I tap certain parts on the screen, like so, then the focus is going to switch and track that object. And I tap on me again, and it's back on me. I can cancel that tracking out as well, and just let the camera do its own autofocus tracking. Oh, and by the way, I'm shooting right now on the Viltrox 50mm f1.8, which is a very sharp lens in my opinion, and it competes directly with the so with Sony's version of the 50mm f1.8. And stay tuned for that review, it will be coming up soon. So anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope that you learned something new and you enjoyed it. And if you want a wireless, easy solution with a monitor that you already have in your pocket and give it pro features, you can get the pro version of this app. Or even if you just want basic features, you can just get the free version of this app. It's still very, very useful. So hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. And I'll be stopping recording on the app right here.